Hello YouTube, Oddball here with another video. Uh, today's video is a comic book review like I promised you guys. Um, I'm sorry if in one of my videos I said, I think I said, um, uh, Blackest Night Volume 2. I'm sorry, I really was trying to push the issue for Aquaman New 52 Volume 1. Um, this one is actually, so far, one of my favorite New 52s besides Animal Man, Swamp Thing, the whole Rot World series. Um, I've actually been starting to read the Justice League, um... I wasn't really a big New 52 fan, uh, or no, not New 52, I wasn't really a big DC fan. New 52 actually got me into DC more. Um, so, let's start with the review. Um, at first, it's, uh, the comic is kind of comedic, like it's Aquaman saving people and people aren't used to it, like there's like, this isn't your spot, you're supposed to be in the water. How is Aquaman able to do this? And there's a part in the comic where he goes into um, a seafood restaurant and orders fish and chips. This guy's like, "You can't eat this." He's like, "Why? You're Aquaman. You talk to fish." And like the best, I like, I like, I love that conversation because he's like, "I don't talk to fish," and he explains why. It's like um, he can brain control fish, sharks, snakes. No, not snakes. Uh, eels, squids, all that stuff to do his will for him. It's mind control. That's how he doesn't talk to fish. Dolphins, he says, are a different story. Aquaman is one of the few heroes that can actually go toe to toe with uh, Superman. Um, Aquaman is not someone to mess around with. Uh, it shows that a lot in this comic. I mean, just look at that artwork. Look at that cover. Look how serious. Look at that. That trident right there. That is just awesome. And he fights ugly things like this. Um, the comic is actually really full of action and all that. There's like these things uh, from the trench. In this bottom, in the bottom of the ocean, called like, like these little water monsters, um, like weird piranha things that want to take over the surface world and all that. Uh, let me find a good page in here where it's just Aquaman, just dominating. Let me see if I can find a good one. Um, I believe a right about right here. Ah, oh, here we go, right here. Look at that. Look at that. Aquaman just dominating these fish things. You got Mera in the background, killing more. Got some more dead ones. And then right here, Aquaman right there, this trident. Ripped up fish guy. Aquaman, um, all in all, this comic, it, it gives you a whole new light on this hero for someone who's been the joke of, like, the butt of every joke on the superhero community for DC and all that. For someone who's been made fun of for so much. He makes up for it so much in this comic book. Like, it gives you a whole new window, that like, a newfound respect for Aquaman. Like, me, I personally always loved Aquaman. Every now and then, yeah, I would, like, laugh at the jokes and all that. But, yeah, because they were funny. Uh, everybody has jokes about a hero. Sorry, I just ate dinner. Um, I'm not sitting well. Um, but, in this comic, Aquaman, it's, it really, really shows you that he is a great Part, like a great hero that he can hold his own he is not someone to mess with and all that and if you look at the videos for uh, Injustice Gods Among Us you'll see that Aquaman was revealed and I am so happy that Aquaman was revealed because how powerful he looks in the game how awesome he plays uh, from the gameplay that I've seen his artwork his design character design weapons and all that abilities he looks like an amazing character and I really recommend you guys check that out um but uh, before you check that out, I want you guys to check this out. Aquaman New 52 Volume 1. It is actually really, really great. I, um, a friend of mine gave me this comic, and I'm really thankful uh, because I really enjoyed reading this one. This one was really great. I was looking forward to reading it for a long time, and I finally got the chance, and I'm glad to be able to do a review on it. Um, so how I'll be scoring my comic reviews, uh, I think I've already explained it out of 10. Um, Aquaman gets a 9, Aquaman gets a 9 out of 10 on my scale. Uh, I still have, there's only three comics that I ha that I own that I would say reach my top 10, uh, my 10 out of 10. Uh, Aquaman came close, it came to a 9. Um, but yeah, let me guys, uh, let me hear what comics you want me to review and if I'll have, and if I have them, I'll review them. Remember, I only do volumes, I don't do single issues, I'm sorry. Um, but volumes are a lot easier for me because they have the single issues in them for that story arc. Um, so like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, all that cool internet jazz. And let me know 
what comics you would like me to review, whether they be from Image, IDW, Dark Horse, DC, Marvel, it does not matter. Let me know. I'm Oddball, signing out.